77 football season, the state championship game between Davenport West and Newton. And we also hope it will serve as a kickoff for the 1978 season. This game was first telecast by WOC from the Unidome in Cedar Falls last November. We repeat it at this time in its entirety. To backtrack briefly, 1977 was a season that won't easily be forgotten by coaches, players, fans, or even sportscasters. It was a year of immense success for the Quad Cities Metro Conference. Four teams from the 17 league qualified for the state playoffs. In Iowa, those teams were West, Central, and Assumption, and Illinois Moline qualified. It was a fitting success story for the final year of the Metro Conference. Outside the metro area, Bob Reed guided his big green machine in Geneseo to its second straight state championship. 1977 was just full of good teams, and that's evidenced by the fact that no area team went undefeated. Even Davenport West lost bringing home the state's most coveted honor. West beat chief rivals Assumption and Central during the season, only to be bumped off by Paul Unruh's talented Moline squad. It marked Davenport's continued domination of the Iowa football scene, for the fourth time in five years, a Davenport team brought home the state crown. Central turned the trick in 73 and again in 76. West first did it in 74 and, of course, repeated in 1977. In leading up to the championship game in the quarterfinals, West got by Dubuque Hempstead, Assumption down Davenport Central. That set up a semifinal game on a sunny Saturday at O'Donnell Stadium. And West defeated Assumption 20-3 to earn the trip to Cedar Falls. Roger Harrington's Falcons got to the finals with an offense that did a little of everything, but what it did best was pass, and Todd Rubley was very good at that. A good high school passer is always tough to stop. Not many teams could thwart the Falcons' passing attack. Usually at the receiving end of those passes were Ron Handy, Monty McCleary, and Jerry Teal. The aerial game was accompanied by the consistent running of Ben Jaring, Jim Lambert, and Brian Holt. And obviously there was a lot of good blocking up front. And no team that goes to the state finals goes without a solid defense. The Falcons were no exception. Newton also deserved to be in that championship game. The Cardinals had several outstanding players, especially Jeff Gerdner, one of the best all-around players we've seen lately. He came into that title game injured, and he went both ways at running back and linebacker. And as you'll see, he played a whale of a game. Newton had beaten Marshalltown and number one rated Sioux City Helan to advance to the final game. So as you can see, on November 18th at 8.15, when Jim Fox and I sat down before the mics, we knew there wasn't much chance for a one-sided ball game. Now let's take a repeat look at that title game between West and Newton. Kicking off for Newton tonight. That'll be uh, number 47, Randy Farr, not listed on tonight's program. Fine crowd on hand here on the uh, opposite side of the press booth here. The, uh, the seats hadn't been completed a year ago. However, they now have, uh, they now have all the seats completed. Uh, when it's completely filled here, uh, 16,000 can be seated. I'm guessing we have uh, in the area of 10 to 12,000 for the ball game tonight, which would surpass last year's crowd. Here's the kick. That's a good kick. Comes down around the five-yard line. Played by, uh, looks like Jim Lambert fakes the uh, pitch. That's Brian Holt, and he falls forward to the 25-yard line. West High School has a reputation for doing a lot of razzle-dazzle, especially on their kickoff. They'll fake a reverse, they'll run a reverse. They really keep you on their toes. I noticed uh, Newton also uh, will, will try a double reverse pass. Might look for that tonight, and also a reverse on their punts. Okay, Rubley brings the Falcons out. He has Lambert and Jaring behind him in the eye. He gives the second man through. That's uh, Lambert. He's up over the 30-yard line, up to about the 34-yard line. Jim Lambert, who replaced uh, Brian Holt. They had been alternating quite a bit before midseason. Holt was out with an injury. Lambert came through and uh, really did a very fine job. Also a baseball player for the state championship Eagles team. Second down, two yards to go for Davenport West. Johnny might notice something different. Newton plays their nose man standing up on two feet rather than... Rubley hands off to Jaring, and there is a flag down on the field. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a 15-yard holding penalty against West High Town. Five yard. Well, 
illegal procedure called against the West High Falcons. That'll set the ball back to the 29-yard line, bring up a second down and seven yards to go. Just into play, 11 minutes, five seconds to go in this first period of play. Those are the things that just do wonders for your ulcer, John. <laughs> just love to see those. Jerry Teal comes out to the right side. Backs now split. Rubley calling signals and a flag thrown. Did we have too much time? Or I believe the left end for West High School lined up uh, offside. It's an immediate five-yard encroachment penalty. Those are the kind of mistakes that you could probably kick yourself in the head later on and say, why'd I do that? Things Second look, down, 12. Things uh, a long yardage situation for West High School right now, but with a quarterback like Todd Rubley, he can pick that up in a flash. Okay, Teal comes split to the right side once again on the bottom of your screen. Split backs once again. Rubley straight back. A pretty good rush over the right side off Teal's hands and... No interception, incomplete pass. The ball was right there, John. Went well, off uh, Teal's right hand, and I believe that was a uh, safety man. Uh, Dave Dunn was over there, and he's the one that almost intercepted his pass. down 12 yards to go Rubley straight back once again looking left side and just under thrown around the 40 yard line that'll bring up a fourth down Denver receiver that time was Ron Handy he was covered well over there by number 22 Kevin Shipley West High School just keep their poise. Uh, they'll be all right. You, you don't expect a football team to score every time they get their hands on the ball. The Cardinals back in double safety, and I have had another encroachment call here. Five more yards paced off against the Falcons. It would be just extremely easy for uh, a bunch of high school kids to really lose their poise right now. They've had what, four or five yard penalties in a matter of a few minutes, and if they can get out of this, uh, they're going to show an awful lot of poise. So number 13, Mitch Dolan, will be standing back on about the seven yard line. That's a good snap, another flag thrown, a high kick. We fielded right around the 45 yard line by Kevin Shipley, goes back, driven back to the 40 yard line, and a flag thrown near the line of scrimmage. Another illegal procedure call against the Falcons. And they're talking with uh, the Newton Cardinals. They may want to take that over again and try to get a run back. 41-yard punt by Mitch Dullin. Dullin was really booting some out uh, during the pregame. So uh, perhaps these kind of conditions give you better footing. Uh, he was really getting some good uh, hang time on his kicks. That'll bring the ball all the way back to the 19-yard line. You see something new every year. Have you ever seen a game where this has happened, John, where there's just been a rash of uh, penalties the first time a team's got the ball? No. I haven't seen this since uh, the Cleveland Browns-Bengals game two weeks ago where we saw it on every play. Dolan standing back now right about at the one-yard line this time. Fourth and 22. Gets a good snap again. And this time a low kick, end and over end, taken right about midfield. The fake reverse. And Kevin Shipley knocked down back in his own territory. Real fine coverage. That was a 38-yard punt. Jerry Teal was down there to uh, make the tackle very quickly. Nice coverage. We'll see how West High will play defense. Uh, Newton has excellent field position, and yeah, I'd have to say that they won the first three minutes of the game. Steve Ogden is the quarterback for Newton. His running backs are Jeff Gerdner and Ron Corbett. In the backfield, they're split. Ogden gives up the middle to Corbett. Perhaps picked up about half a yard. You might see Gerdner uh, alternating quite a bit in there tonight with Gary Swanson. Now Kevin Shipley comes out. He's the flanker. Swanson comes in and takes his place. Swanson's number 46. He's six foot 192. He's a senior. In fact, most of this Newton team are, is uh, it's a senior-oriented team. 
Second down, eight yards to go for Newton. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here's the give to Gertner. He's up over midfield, down near the 45-yard line. Well, Gertner is a tough runner, John. There's no doubt about that. Uh, you can run the ball like that against West High School. You've got to have something on the ball. Roger Harrington compared him a lot to uh, Jeff Jansen in the way that he uh, does run, and he, uh, he, he doesn't worry who's in his way. Yeah, they both look pretty physical. Third down, two yards to go for the Newton Cardinals. Eight minutes, 36 seconds to go in the ball game. And to go in the first quarter, there's no score. Ogden sets his team down. The pitch out to Gerdner this time. He's up to the 45, the 40-yard line, gets around the corner, down to the 30-yard line, and inside the 30. The football player for Newton, who is blocking the defensive halfback for West High, just did an excellent job. The defensive back for West High was down on the ground, and that, that made the difference in that big play there. A very quick movement on the part of everybody on uh, Newton there, and, and uh, Gerdner got around that corner very quickly. And Newton is a real fine football team. First down and 10 for the Newton Cardinals on the 29-yard line, the West 29. Shipley flank this time. Fake pitch. Uh, the middle of all the way down to the 20-yard line. Fake pitch that time to... Uh, that was going to Gary Swanson, and they gave to Corbett right up the middle. Corbett also done uh, some good running this year. Gerdner comes wide to the left side this time. First down and 10 Newton on the 17-yard line. Ogden to throw, looking left side. He has his man, touchdown, Newton. Allen West, number 42, Dave Gillette. It's interesting, John, in that uh, normally West High School plays a four-deep secondary, and they commit seven men to the line of scrimmage for the run. In that situation, they had eight people defensing the run. They were in their 5-3, they only had three halfbacks, and took advantage of it. Okay. A uh, quick 6-0 lead taken by uh, the Newton Cardinals. That score uh, took two minutes, 53 seconds, and took six plays, and they covered 55 yards in that time span. I'm starting to see how they can score 40 points a ball game. Far into the game, the kick puts it up, and it's 7-0. Newton over Davenport West. Conditions are beautiful right now, not a cloud in the sky. Kind of a knuckleball kick down around the 10-yard uh, line. That's taken by Jerry Teal. He hands off to Lambert. Lambert around the 20, 25-yard line and up to the 30-yard line. Nice yardage picked up by Jim Lambert. Six minutes, 48 seconds to go in this first quarter of play. Newton with the lead, 7 to nothing. A lot of red at this... Uh, in the, in the stands tonight as both teams have uh, have red colors. Rubley gives to uh, Lambert over the 35-yard line down to about the 37-yard line. John, I think we might see West High attacking uh, the weak side of their formation. The defensive back, the corner to the weak side, is playing about six or seven yards deep, and he has to give primary run support. And when you're that deep, it's awful tough to do it. If West High comes back to that weak side, they're going to be all right. Okay, West running over uh, Scott Stevens, the right guard, John Ward, the right tackle. Stevens number 72 and Ward number 70. Second down, three yards to go for the Falcons. Give to the first man through, that's Ben Jerry. He's up on the 40-yard line to about the 41. And from our vantage point, that is the first down. So maybe if West can stay away from some of those penalties that plagued him on that first series of downs, they'll be able to move the ball pretty well here. Oh, absolutely. No doubt about that. Teal comes out to the right side. That's Handy, the tight end to the left. Monty McCleary in the slot to the right. Rubley gives to Lambert once again. He's to the 45-yard line. He's up pretty close to midfield. Jim Lambert. If West High School wants to, John, they can, they can go to the weak side of their formation all night long. The way uh, Newton is defensing that, they're going to have real problems. Second down, four yards to go for the Falcons on the 47-yard line. Roger Harrington, the coach of the Falcons. Frank Gilson, the coach of the Newton Cardinals. 
High formation once again. Cleary in the slot to the left. Rubley looking to throw. He has his man open. He has him. It's Ron Handy down to the 25-yard line and to the 20. Ron Handy with a reception. Takes the ball all the way down to the 20-yard line. John, that was an excellent call. West High had been attacking that weak side. They, they made the defensive back aware of his run support responsibilities. They, they, they suckered him up. They suckered him up. And boom, now they hit him with a pass. Excellent call. First down and 10 for Davenport West. Best field position so far on the Newton 20-yard line. Again, Labbert and Jaring in behind Todd Rubley. Rubley calls signals. He gives the Jaring up the middle to the 15-yard line. Nice hole there on the left side. the cheering the uh, Davenport West congregation right below us split backfield this time second down five yards to go for the Falcons there's the give second man through that's Lambert inside the 10 yard line Jim Lambert down inside the 10 to about the eight yard line that'll be another Davenport West first down the West High has their poise back they're executing again and as, as long as they don't beat themselves they're gonna be tough to beat Falcons this time come out in the uh, in the eye. Teal split wide to the left side. First down. Goal to go for the eight. Here's Lambert inside the five-yard line and push back. Crawls will probably be spotted ahead to about the uh, four or three-yard line. Lambert gets through there very quickly. Three more replacements come into the ball game. Lambert now has carried the ball five times and has picked up 35 yards. Second down and goal to go from the three. Newton's in their goal line defense right now. 6-5. Rubley gets the jury. Touchdown, Davenport West. Big ball. Could have driven a truck through that one. He only needed to get Ben Shearing through that time, and he did it. 7-6, Davenport West drilling by one now. As Ernie Burnett comes in to attempt the extra point. Defensively, John, Newton uh, took their defensive tackle and pitched him down to the inside, which left uh, a big gap from the outside hip of uh, the offensive tackle to the tight end. So there was a, there was a good lane to run through for Jaring. West traveled 70 yards in eight plays. Burnett's kick up there, it's good. With three minutes, 15 seconds to go in the first quarter of the play. In the first quarter, the score here at the Unidome is Newton 7, Davenport West 7. A very nice drive by the Davenport West Falcons ties this ball game up, and uh, we keep going like this. We may see a lot of points scored before tonight's ball game is over. West High School is ready to kick off. The only problem is they don't have a football. <laughs> Everybody's wondering what's going on, and uh, officials conferring on the right side. 7-7 score here in the ball game. Uh, to repeat that earlier score in 1A, Manila beat Maynard, West Central 10-0. Two more uh, championship games coming up tomorrow as Ernie Burnett gets set to kick off for Davenport West. Gets off a, uh, a low kick ground ball taken on the 15-yard uh, line. That's Chipley. He's up to the 30, tries left side, gets away from one man, bounces away from another, up to about the 33-yard line. Shipley's not a very big kid. He only stands 5'10 and 155, but he, he runs hard and he takes a good crack. I'm impressed with the toughness and the quickness that Newton shows. They, uh, they're a fine-looking football team. Well, let's see now if uh, Davenport West was able to make some adjustments on the sidelines while the offense was uh, doing their part. Steve Ogden, still the quarterback for Newton. Kevin Shipley, the flanker. Uh, to the first man through, and that's uh, Ron Corbett, the uh, fullback. He's up to the 40-yard line. I haven't heard much about Newton's offensive line, John, but uh, the way those holes look, they must have some fine football players in their line. Dave Dunn over to make the tackle for Davenport West, along with Terry Rouse. Rouse is a junior, Dunn a senior. 
Second down, three yards to go. For Newton. Again, Shipley, the flanker on the right side. Here's Ogden. He gets to uh, Gerdner this time. Gerdner's down to the 45-yard line. Looks like another first down for Newton. Down to about two minutes to go in the first quarter of play. Large congregations from uh, from both schools here tonight. In fact, the one eight. I noticed, John, number 62, uh, Randy Kloss in the center. One of the offensive linemen for Newton is limping right now, and that could cause them real problems. Yeah, there he is. He's getting him out of the ball game. We do have a timeout on the field with the score Newton 7 and Davenport West 7. Ogden gives to Gerdner. He's over the 45-yard line and falls forward up to about the 49-yard line, very close to midfield. John, traditionally, Davenport West has an excellent defense. This year, they were pretty good. Uh, whenever you win the Metro, you're good. But uh, defensively, they finished uh, the fourth uh, best defensive team in the Metro. So they're going to have to have just a supreme all-out effort out of their defense if they expect to win tonight. Rick Keller and uh, Kent Dennison over to make the tackle for uh, the Falcons. And one of the ball players uh, coming down to get an equipment repair near this sideline, shoulder, shoulder pad apparently having a little problem. Seven sevens are scored. North Newton and Davenport West. Minute and a half to go in this first quarter of play. And number 41, Dave Dunn, the linebacker for Central. And he's uh, had his equipment fixed up. And we're set to go. Second down, six yards to go for Newton. Full house backfield this time for the Cardinals. The black jerseys and red pants. Give to Gertner, left side, over midfield, and he's caught, and he uh, gets out of one way from some trouble, but can't get back to midfield, and he loses a yard. Great pursuit by the Falcons there. I counted eight uh, gray shirts around the ball. As long as they fly to the ball like that, they're going to be all right. Again, number one, Rick Keller, a 5'9", 155-pound senior, came up to uh, finish Jeff Gertner off. So the uh, Cardinals really faced with their first tough third down situation. Third down and six yards to go. The ball on the 49-yard line. We're counting down 37 seconds to go in this first quarter, and the score is all tied up at seven apiece. Gary Swanson flanks uh, to the left side this time, and we have a flag thrown. This one's going against the Cardinals. That'll be five yards. Too much time taken by the Newton Cardinals. And that's not going to make their chore any easier on this third down. Number 90 into the ball game for Davenport West. That's Terry Roush. This would be a good time for Newton to uh, run a draw or throw a screen, I believe, John. And Everybody I don't... in the stands has got to expect a pass right now. And they won't get that play off. That's the end of the first quarter. The score, Davenport West 7 and Newton 7. 7-7 seven, seven is our score at the Unidome as we begin the second quarter of play. Newton has the ball on the 44-yard line, third down, and 11 yards to go. Statistically, John, uh, both teams have seven first downs. Newton has a slight edge in rushing with 50 yards. West High has 44. Ogden pitches to Gerdner, right side. He's over the 45-yard line. He's up to midfield, then he's corralled and pushed out of bounds. Still about uh, four yards short of the first down, and the punting unit comes in for uh, Newton. We might uh, say at this time that we had planned to have uh, instant replay, and uh, we're having some technical problems at this point. We apologize, and uh, we're having them taken care of. We hope to have it very soon. Fourth down, five yards to go. And uh, Paul Brookers comes into the game for Newton. Low snap, he gets it off, and a fine kick. Nice punt. Taken on the 10-yard uh, line, looks like Jim Lambert. He's knocked down right about at the 15. Take that back, that's not Jim Lambert, that's Rick Keller, one of the safety men for Davenport West. Jerry Teal goes wide right this time. Ron Handy is a tight end on the left side. Split backs are Lambert, 
and Ben Jerry. Todd Rubley is the quarterback. Rubley, uh, drop play to Jerry. He's up to the 25-yard line, slides forward to about the 27. One of the trademarks of the damn poor West football team is that they run the draw and they run the screen about as well as anybody in high school football. And we have a man injured for the Newton Cardinals right about at the 25-yard line. And uh, some of the trainers out on the field now attending to him. 10 minutes, 33 seconds to go in the first half of play. And he comes out. That's, that's Kevin Shipley. And uh, I'm sure they'd like to get him back into the ball game as soon as possible. That's his best defensive player. He'll be replaced by uh, Brian Staub, a 5'7 junior. He weighs 165 pounds. Quickly, the Falcons come out in the eye. McClary, the slot back to the right. There's the gift to Jim Lambert. He jumps over the uh, top of the pile over the 30-yard line up to about the 34. Falcons able to move the ball very well on the ground. Shipley back into the uh, defensive unit of Newton, and Staub goes out of the ball game. 7-7 seven seven is our score midway through the second period of play. Newton scored on its first possession. West scored on its second. Second down, two yards to go for West. Rubley hands off to Jaring. He's hit at the line of scrimmage. However, he does fall forward. He's very close to the first down. And it is good enough for a first down. Falcons aren't wasting any time. They're huddling up, getting out of the huddle very quickly. McCleary goes into the slot to the right. That's steel split wide to the right side. Rubley looking to throw, looks right side. He has his man. That's Teal at midfield. Jerry Teal brings the ball into Newton territory. Another Davenport West first down. and 10 as uh, West High Falcons continue this drive and this is two successive series now that they've had a lot of success in moving the ball against a very good Newton defense. Once again, here's the give to Lambert. He <laughs> falls on about the 46 yard line and then he slid on his belly up to about the 45. They'll put the ball back right around at the 46. Second down and about seven yards to go. Give to Jim Lambert, a give to Ben Jerring, a pass here and there, and uh, the Falcons have been moving very well. Lambert now, seven carries, 47 yards. Here's Rubley again to Lambert, 45-yard line, down to about the 43. And Jim Lambert's running the ball with real authority, John. So Lambert now uh, has picked up more than 50 yards so far for the night. A third down and three situation for the Falcons. The uh, Falcons don't alternate people coming in. Uh, Cy Robinson, the offensive coordinator, normally talks to the offense and uh, tells them what he wants them to do. McCleary in the slot left this time, split backs. Here's the gift to Jerry, up to about the 41-yard line and pushed backwards. He's still about two yards short of the first down. Number 66, Dave Norvell, a tackle. If West High will come back and run the option, if they'll pull the ball out of Ben Jerry's stomach and uh, have Todd Rubley keep it, they'll have their first down. We have a timeout on the field with a score, Newton 7, Davenport West 7. Fourth and one, they're on the Newton 40-yard line. They line up in the eye. Here's the give to Jerry. He busts forward to the 38-yard line. Easy first down all the way to the 36-yard line. Right now, John, uh, Lambert has eight carries and 50 yards. So Roger Harrington with a little gamble here in the second period of play pays off. A first down for Davenport West. Ball on the 36-yard line. We have a 7-7 ball game. Both teams have uh, two timeouts remaining. McCleary slot right. Jerry Teal split right. Rubley's looking to throw, finds left sidelines. He has handy, handy, 25. He's on his feet to the 20. 
Todd Rubley showed great poise there. He was pressured. He got the ball on a perfect strike, and Handy made a good run at the football. He caught Handy, yes. Uh, for, uh, for a split second, however, Wearmouth was able to keep a hand on Handy's ankle. He might have picked up another 10 yards had he not had that hand. All tied up here at 7-7, but West is on the move once again. Rubley brings his team out, first down and 10. To get to Labrador. Second down and 10 yards to go for the Falcons. They have the ball in the 19-yard line of the Cardinals. Rubley looks right over the middle. He has his... Oh, he drops it at the five-yard line. That was a tough one. To, and it hit several other people. Ron Handy uh, just couldn't get a handle on it. We've seen that one a lot this year, Jim. Yes, we have. Uh, now's about the time for that tight end screen that West High uses so effectively. West High enjoys doing the screen pass when they're down threatening your area. Most defensive teams feel that they've got to put a lot of pressure on, and, and you have to. Here comes that tight end screen. Third down, 10 yards to go on the 19-yard line. And there we have it. This goes to Lambert at the 15. He's uh, grabbed out of bounds. Looks like around the 12-yard line. That'll still be about two yards short of a first down. If it is spotted on the 12. That's about where it will be placed. They have to get to the nine yard line for the first down, so that'll bring up a fourth down and about three yards to go. Brian Holt checking into the West Side lineup. And uh, Falcons want some time to talk it over. We have a timeout on the field with a score of West 7 and Newton 7. Split backs. Rubley calling signals. He gets to, uh, he's, he's passing. He has his man at the five yard line. Touchdown, Davenport West. That call, John, reflects the confidence that West High School has in their thrower, Todd Rubley. He's a good one. Check that. That's Monty McCleary, who uh, slot back there. 85 and 86 get him mixed up a little bit. But Monty McCleary came in and made the grab. Got the ball about the five-yard line and went into the end zone. 13-7, Davenport West goes on top with 5 minutes, 59 seconds to go in this first half of play. Ernie Burnett, balls down, kicks up there, and that's good. With 5 minutes, 59 seconds left on the clock in the first half. as West has just taken a 14 to 7 lead another ground ball up the middle and it gets past Shipley and rolls into the end zone it'll be a safety and it'll come out or a touchback and it'll come out so the Newton Cardinals will take over on their own 20 yard line just under six minutes left in this first half of play. They're down by seven. John, on that last touchdown drive, West High moved the ball for 87 yards. They used up five and a half minutes, and they did it all in 14 plays. Well, you couldn't draw that one out any better. Use up that much clock. First and ten on the 20-yard line for Newton. Gerdner is back in the ball game, and he takes the first handoff. He's up over the 20-yard line. He gets to about the 23. John, West High showed something different defensively that I've never seen them show. They were in a 6-2 defense right there. Number 41, Dave Dunn, in to make the stop on Gerdner. He did pick up three yards, second down and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. This Unidome really produces the noise when you get a good crowd in here. There are a lot of fans in the background. But I'm guessing we probably have around 10,000 fans here tonight. Ogden throws left side. He has his man. That's Gillette. And he's up to the 30-yard line and up for the first down. Number 42, Dave Gillette just uh, took a couple of steps off the line of scrimmage. He's 6'1", 175 pounds. A senior Ogden hit him very well. And he moved forward enough to get the first down. The ball comes out to the 31-yard line. First down and 10. Ogden up the middle to Corbett. Uh, make that guess, Gerdner. And he's very close to the 40-yard line. Gerdner is a real fine back. He's very quick. He's big. He does look a, an awful lot like Jeff Jansen in terms of the way he runs that football. He's, he's a real good football player. 
defensive end for Davenport West, Mel Saline over on the tackle, stopping Gerdner. Second down, three yards to go as Newton starts to move the ball pretty well. The left split to the uh, left side this time. Here's the pitch out to Gerdner. Gerdner's hit in the backfield. He gets away from one man, gets away from two. Reverses his field, now trying the left side. He tries to go back once again. Finally knocked down around the 40-yard line. Gerdner's running ability uh, turned that potentially three- or four-yard loss into a two-yard gain. 7-7's Seven our ball game here at the Unidome. 3.56 to go in the first half of play. Ogden gives to, uh, this is Shipley and uh, falls over the 45-yard line. He's very close to midfield. Shipley got to that hole very quickly. Newton's overall team quickness is very impressive, John. Shipley goes out of the ball game. In comes Gary Swanson. Clock ticking at three and a half minutes. And as we get uh, down to less time, West has one timeout left, left in the half, while Newton still has two timeouts remaining. Ogden to Gertner once again. He's over midfield and to about the 47-yard line. Darrell Osborne over to uh, make the tackle. Ed Wernicke also helped out. First down and 10 for the Newton Cardinals. Just in the Davenport West Territory. The fake pitch, give up the middle of the Corbett, he's at the 45, and he's very close to the 40-yard line. That play worked very well on that first drive. Uh, the Newton scored its touchdown, got him very near the goal line. I think the defensive coaches for West High are scratching their head and trying to uh, come up with something that can stop these Newton Cardinals. Pick up of seven for Ron Corbett. Second down and three for the Cardinals. Ogden faking, looking to throw, looking left side and deep. Got around the 10-yard line, cut. Oh, no, it isn't got it. Complete pass. It was in his hands. That was six points, John. That certainly was. That was number 42. That was Dave Gillette who had a, a step or two on his man and had the ball in his mitts. What we've seen of Ogden so far is he does have a good arm on him. The Newton offensive players are, are really impressive. They have lots of ability. Third down, three yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Steve Ogden brings his team up. Looks right and left. Ogden gives to Gertner. He's up on the 40-yard line and... Uh, Sacked down around the 38-yard uh, line. He's close to that first down. He might be about a half yard short. It will be a fourth down, but uh, looks like it'll be no more than about a foot. Frank Gilson doesn't even think twice. Keeps his offensive crew out there with uh, really less than two minutes to go in this first half. And looks things over once again. Give to Gertner. Easy first down. He's all the way up to the 30 yard line and down to the 25. John Gertner did that himself. West High had the perfect defense call. They overloaded that area. They blitzed through it, and Gertner just made the play. He is fantastic. Jeff Gertner, who gained uh, 1,100 yards during the regular season, he goes both ways. He's also a linebacker. First and down and 10. John, in 11 attempts, Gerdner's pick up, uh, has picked up 63 yards of rushing. And the Cardinals are on the march at the 26-yard line. And throwing again. He finds his man. He's the five-yard line. Touchdown. Touchdown, Newton. An excellent catch. That was Dave Gillette, who just dropped that pass two plays earlier. Gillette gets into the end zone this time. Well, we've got quite a football game here, John. Certainly do. That coverage wasn't too bad, but the ball was thrown extremely well. Randy Parr comes into the ball game to try the extra point for Newton. 
That'll tie it up. With West one minute, nine blocked. seconds to go in this first half of play. The score here at the Unidome is Davenport West 14 and Newton 14. Well, this going this first half of play. Still do a lot with, uh, with a minute. Ball taken on the 10-yard line up to the 20 and uh, fake reversed and over the 35-yard line. That was Brian Holt that took that one up. So that took about five more seconds off the clock. Clock now begins running. We're down to one minute, and the Falcons won't be wasting any time. Ball on the 34-yard line. Todd Rupley, and he's straight back to pass. Looks right side. He has his man. That's handy at the 50. He stays in bounds at the 40. He's down to the 35-yard run. Handy inside the 40-yard line. Just a superb pass and a, a, another fine catch by Handy. And he knows what to do with the football when he catches it, too. I tell you, he can really run. It looked like he had been knocked out of bounds. Uh, back around. Well, I guess, I guess he had. It looked like one foot may have gone out right around midfield. And he did do uh, kind of a pirouette there. It, it looked, perhaps he thought he stayed in bounds, but the official didn't think so. John, we've got 40 seconds left in the half, and you can bet that West High is going to pull all stops out of their offense and try and get some points on the board. So now they're just in the Newton territory. Rubley back to throw again, rolling to the left side. He finds his man, Tilo, incomplete. The ball, ball was right there. Low. Teal was pretty well covered. The ball uh, did find its way through. It hit him right around the knee and fell off. 36 seconds to go. That stops the clock. 14 all here in this 4A championship game at the Unidome at Cedar Falls. We might want to look for that tight end screen or a draw with Jaron. The Falcons come out of the eye. Rubley, looking once again, he's rushed hard. He's going to keep the ball to the 45-yard line down inside the 45 to about 43, and Todd Rubley quickly calls timeout. We have a timeout on the field with the score, Newton 14, Davenport West 14. Up that one up. We have a fourth and four now, John. I think West High has to decide if they want to go for the score here or if they want to get a first down and, uh, and still have a few more seconds to, to score. Clock stops again. 24 seconds to go, and uh, Falcons will be going for it. Rubley straight back. Gets a good rush. Here's the screen pass. It goes to Jaring. He's to the 40. He's to the 35-yard line. He's down to the 30-yard line. That's enough for the first down. Well, the clock will continue to run. They'll stop it just briefly here as they move the yard markers downfield. We have mentioned before, John, that one of the things that West High does very, very well is they make great use of their screens and draws. First and ten, enough time. The clock is running. Six seconds. Uh, Rubley's going to have to call this one quick. Three seconds. Rubley's uh, rushed very hard. He gets away down around the 40-yard line. Now he's rushed again and finally knocked down around the 45-yard line as time runs out. Here at halftime, the Unidome, the score, Davenport West 14, Newton 14. Another ground ball up the middle taken by Gurdner on the 10-yard line. Bobbles it once up to the 15. Uh, looks for some running room around the 20. He finds some over the 25-yard line. And with some fancy tiptoeing there around the 25-yard line, Jeff Gertner gets up to the 30. You know, John, with all the talk that people say about uh, is the team up and is everyone fired up, the team that's going to win the state championship tonight will be the team that executes the best. And execution takes an awful lot of calm and a lot of poise and a lot of just just uh, repetition in, in doing the, the fundamental concerns of football. Uh, emotion plays a part in it, but execution is going to win this football game. Number 71 comes into the game for uh, Davenport West. That's Brad Childers. Newton with the ball on their own 30-yard line. Here's the give up the middle. That's to, uh, once again, to Gerdner. He gets up to close to the 35-yard line, a pickup of about five yards. John, an interesting thing. I was talking to the Newton sophomore football coach, and he told me that the fastest Newton offense is the fullback. 
that he's an excellent hurdler, and he said if he ever breaks, he's gone. Second down, six yards to go on the 34 line. Steve Ogden brings his offense out. Ogden pitches this time to Gurdon. 32-yard line, 35, and he's knocked down there. Fine pursuit by West High School. All here at the good of the sign pretty close to the 40 yard line he had to get to the 40 in order to get the first down I do think he's a bit short just inches short the officials want to take a close look at the chains and see uh, whether he did get the first down but uh, see if the tip of the ball is over the 40 -yard line John I think the important thing for the West High uh, kids and and coaches to remind themselves is that they're not necessarily a super defensive football team. Again, they were the fourth best defensive team in the Quad City Metro, which isn't really outstanding. It's not poor. But West High uh, earns their victories with their fine offensive attack and mainly with the leadership of Todd Rubel. Fourth down and uh, about an inch or two to go for the Newton Cardinals for the first down. Ball just shy of the 40-yard line. At the middle. Does it first down. Locking up front. Cardinals offensive line. Just into the second half of play. 9.55 to go in this third quarter. Tied up at 14 apiece. Saw some very good offense played in that first half. Ogden got the ball up to the 41 yard line, and uh, that's where the Cardinals will have a first down. No fumbles yet in this ball game. No interceptions either. Really, the only mistakes have been made on penalties, and uh, we have another flag thrown here. That was costly, John. One of the defensive backs for West High was going to blitz. He lined up, and he got a little bit anxious and just pierced that plane, and he encroached, and that's an automatic five-yard penalty. That puts the ball on the 46-yard line as Newton comes out. A Defensive coaches do not like that new rule, John. They think that takes away some of the aggressiveness uh, on the defensive part. Ogden fakes the pitch, gives up the middle to Corbett. Corbett very close to midfield, right around the 48-49 yard line. That's really the best that West has stopped that, uh, that fake pitch. Corbett, far tonight, he had been picking up about eight yards of clip in the first half. Corbett had uh, four carries, 24 yards in the first half of play. Second down, one yard to go. There's the give to, uh, looks like it's Shipley. Shipley up to the 40-yard line. And that was Gerdner once again. Jeff Gerdner, who was really a question mark coming into this ball game, and uh, Frank Gilson told us earlier this week that if uh, playing in this game would anywhere hurt his him. And apparently that shoulder bruise has come along well enough that he is able to play and boy he's playing a good ball game. It looks to me that he has a future too, John. 40 yard line. That's where the ball is. First and 10 for Newton. Here's the give to Gerdner. He's able to drive ahead for only a couple of yards and a flag thrown at the point of the tackle. Could be a 15 yarder there for holding, I would guess. Yep. The holding penalty being called against the Cardinals and that'll, uh, that'll hurt this drive a bit. Those darn 15 yard penalties are just crippling. Puts the ball back at the Cardinals' territory at the 48-yard line. Right now, John, uh, Gerdner has picked up 91 yards of rushing and only 15 carries. First down, 22 yards to go. Not only is, is he a good runner, but any good runner will tell you he's only good as his offensive line. And he has a fine offensive line. There's no doubt about that. Ogden pitches this time. This one goes to Gerdner. No, this is to Shipley. Shipley gets up over midfield, but just barely. We'll have to see now, John, what sort of imagination Newton has with respect to their passing game or a screen or a draw. They've, they've got uh, 19 yards to make up, and it's second down, and uh, wouldn't expect that to be the best play in the world to call here. 
that's the first uh, 15 yard penalty we've seen tonight and uh, certainly is at this point it looks like it put her neutral. let's see what they do here ball on the 49 yard line Ogden on the draw he gives to Gertner and he stopped cold in the backfield lost a couple more West High played that very well. They penetrated, but the, the people that were responsible for the draw were cautious enough in their rush that when the draw came, they were able to stop it cold. Getting off the bottom of that tackle, Dave Dunn, the linebacker for the Falcons. Third down, 20, uh, make it about 23 yards to go for the first down. Ball back on the 48. Now let's see what the Cardinals come up with. See if Ogden decides to go to Gillette again. Ogden straight back, fakes the draw, and he's going to screen pass to Gillette. Gillette's going to throw off, but he uh, wobbly pass incomplete. That was a heck of a call. I, uh, that looked to some people like it was pass interference, but I think there was just a little bit of bumping there between the receiver and the, the defensive back. I, I can't, uh, in all honesty, call a interference on that. We're going to see it on the replay again. See if we can see any interference there. That has some imagination there. No, can't see it. Fourth down, 22. Uh, punts away, and it's a good one. Comes down around the 15-yard line. Up to the 20-yard line is uh, number five for the Falcons, Pat Birkin. Burke is able to get some yardage on it, but pretty good coverage by the Cardinals once again. 37-yard punt by uh, Paul Brooker of the Cardinals, and the Falcons take over, having stopped the Cardinals on their first drive. That 15-yard penalty did hurt the Newton Cardinals. Todd Rubley, the quarterback. Falcons line up in the eye to give to Lambert. He's up over the 25-yard line, very close to the 30. Lambert was the leading ball carrier for the Falcons in the first half. He picked up 49 yards on nine carries. And Lambert down this stretch run has uh, been a very good performer for Roger Harrington and his crew. 5.51 to go in this third quarter of play. 14 all at the Unidome for the 4A championship. Second down, four yards to go. Give again to Lambert to 30 yards. on that drive uh, that really didn't go the ball up six minutes so if they had a that's were also very even uh, just as close as the score uh, at eight first down, at six. first and ten for the Falcons Rudley goes to throw looking left side oh just go Jerry Teal on the Yardage. Uh, Newton had 109 yards and West High School had 81. There we see in our replay that pass by Todd Rubley just missed the outstretched fingers of uh, Teal, I believe. In passing offense, Newton had 52 yards. Davenport West, a big advantage, had 112 yards. So that incomplete pass gives the Falcons a second and 10 situation. The ball on the 36 yard line. Rubley hands the ball to Jerring. He's up over the 40-yard line, still driving forward to the Quite effort there. He just kept driving forward and kept his balance, and uh, really no one got down very low on Ben. Here we can see Ben Jerring running again. Uh, he's got some real power. I him. He had two excellent games against for the Sun. Ben Jerring's a senior. 197 and really packs a punt. Give the give to Lambert time. He's up to midfield. That's plenty for the first down. You know, John, I, if I were West High School, I'd like to see that clock keep going and going. I ball moved on the ground because defense high school has in all probability Lambert has 65 yards right now at 12 carries. First down and 10 for the Falcons. Ball on their own, 49-yard line. Mm -hmm. 
Rubley gives up the middle. This is the Jaring again, and he fights off a couple of tacklers and gets into uh, Cardinal territory to the 45. The statistic that gives a real uh, telling account of the first half is that Newton had five yards of penalties and West High School had 20. It's 14 all in this uh, second half of play, and we have uh, three minutes, just under four minutes to go in the third quarter. As the Falcons come out in the eye, second down, four yards to go for Davenport West. Rubley to Lambert. Lambert's inside the 40-yard line. And that's enough for another Davenport West first down. John, I think West High, uh, West High staff must have picked up that uh, they could run to the weak side all night long if they wanted to. They're having great success running to the weak side, and unless Newton does uh, come up with an adjustment, uh, th that is there all night long. Rubley calling signals. He's uh, fixed to one man. He's ready to throw. Looking right side. Long. Oh, over the fingertips of Teal again. And, and Jerry Teal right about at the five-yard line was able to get really just his fingertips on the ball as he dived. Let me see it again on the replay, John. Pass is right in the hands. Three minutes, 18 seconds to go in this third quarter, and the Falcons now faced with a second down and 10 situation. Presently, Todd Rubley's thrown 13 passes. Ball on the 38-yard line. Ball given to Lambert. Lambert up to about the 35. That's a three more yards for Lambert. This Stop a, down there by Gerger who came up from his linebacking post. This is a real big play for West High School right now. It's uh, third and six. They're in territory where if it's fourth and short, they can certainly go for the first down. But uh, this play right here is going to have an awful lot of significance on the ball game, I think. Six yards to go for the first down this time. Ball on the 34. It's third down. Rubley back to throw. He's looking to his right. Gets plenty of time. He hits his man handy. 22 yard line. They call it incomplete. And, oh, it's Andy upset. Ron Handy thought he had it. The visual uh, caught that ball on the replay. From what I can see, uh, we have John, a timeout that... on the field, Jim, with the score: Newton 14, West 14 to go on the 34-yard line. Rubley a long down. He'll back the pass. Getting the left. And the ball is knocked uh, on the Jerry Teal. 34 for the Cardinals. That's Paul Brooker. I believe Brooker is the linebacker. Uh, you can see that here on the replay. Your underneath coverage, John, has to come through and stop that. Your defensive backs cannot make that play. Uh, Newton got a heck of an effort right there out of their linebacker. So the Falcons surrender the ball. The Cardinals take over on the 34-yard line. Steve Ogden calling signals for Newton. He gets to Gerdner. Gerdner up over the 35-yard line to about the 38. As they're unpiling down around the 38-yard line. Left in his third play. Ogden throws left side and it's incomplete. Off the hands of Dave Gillette. Dave Gillette has caught two touchdown passes. Couldn't hold on to that one. Just under two minutes left in this third quarter of play. All tied up again. 14 all, third down and six. Brings up a big play for uh, the Cardinals right now. Ogden gives to Corbett. Corbett's hit at the line of scrimmage. Might have picked up a yard, but doesn't get any further than the 40-yard line. Newton has got a punt now, John. They're in territory. They've got to kick the ball. Paul 
Brooker comes into the ball game uh, to punt for the Cardinals. Four yards to go for that first down. Low snap, Brooker picks it up. Gets off a pretty good kick taken about the 25-yard line by number one, Keller. Keller's hit hard coverage. there. Excellent coverage by Newman. 35-yard punt by Brooker. Now the Falcons take over. No scoring yet in this second half of play. All tied at 14 apiece. If you would have guessed after that first half, you'd think that uh, really we would have seen a couple more touchdowns by this time. You really would. In fact, I think if anyone saw the game last year, the state championship finals, they would have said the same thing then, but it turned into a defensive game just like this one is. Falcons in the eye once again. Rubley gives second man through. That's Lambert. He's up at the 35, 30-yard line. Charges forward and gets to about the 33, 34. Jim Lambert, uh, not the biggest of guys, but he does have a lot of power. 5'11", 180. He's another one of the senior members of this Falcons ball club. Second down and about three yards to go for the first down. So that's, uh, that's certainly the kind of gain you like to see on first down. Absolutely. About a half minute to go in this third quarter. Rubley pitches to Lambert. Lambert's up to the 35-yard line, throws away one blocker, and gets up pretty close to the 38-yard line. Lambert in 16 carries has, uh, has gained about, uh, about 89 yards. He's having a real fine night, John. Buck begins running with 15 seconds left. And the Falcons pick up another first down. Ball on the 38-yard line. Rubley gives up the middle to Lambert once again. He's over the 45-yard line. Moves up near midfield to about the 40-yard line. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Newton 14, Davenport West 14. So Jim Lambert of Davenport West has continued to run with authority in this second half of play, and West faces a second down, two yards to go on the 47-yard line. John, in 17 carries, he's gained 96 yards. If to Lambert once again, he's uh, very close to midfield, and he has that first down again, Jim. He's got to be close to about 100 yards for the night. Yeah, he has 99 yards of rushing right now, John, in 18 attempts. I'd say he's a pretty safe bet for 100 yards tonight. The West keeping the ball on the ground mainly during this drive. Ball right, right just about at the 50-yard line. First down and 10. Going to give up middle to Jerry, and uh, that was like a wrestling match on that one. Number 68, Bear Warsh, was there to meet Jerry, and uh, they kind of wrestled with each other right about at the 49. Well, I tell you what, both crowds are extremely emotional right now, and I'm sure that's going to help both uh, both teams down there. They're going to get excited by hearing all that noise. I know that. And each team has a uh, large following on uh, both sides of the stands here. Second down, nine yards to go for the Falcons. Rubley going to throw. Looks right side. He has his man at the 40-yard line. It looks like it's... Uh, McCleary made the catch. You can have the replay on that one, Jim. Rubley fakes and throws, and it's right on the money. The majority of his throws have been uh, right in the receiver's arms or numbers or fingers. So as soon as we say that West has been sticking on the ground, Rubley decides to put it up. 14 all here at the Unidome, first down and 10 for Davenport West. Slot back as McCleary to the right side. Rubley again throws over the middle, and this time he has Handy. Handy down inside the 25-yard line. Quick looking pass to Ron Handy. He carried his uh, man about the last five yards. You can see it again on the replay. Rubley fakes. This time he throws back, and the tight end is right there. So on successive plays, uh, Todd Rubley finds uh, Monty McCleary. And Ron Handy, and uh, in each case, they pick up a first down. Ron Handy makes a real fine target. He's 6'4 and 190 pounds. He's got real fine size. Falcons have taken the ball down now to the 22-yard uh, line. 
Rubley pitches this time out to uh, Jerry. He butts into one man and uh, gets knocked out of bounds. Newton played the West High Option game very well right there. Uh, I noticed, though, John, that when West High put their two wide receivers to the left side, which gave them a twins formation, Newton only covered them with one man. So I think if the West High spotters saw that, they may set their twins out there again and throw the football. It's pretty hard for one defensive back to cover two guys, let alone one. No gain on that last play for uh, Ben Jerring. Second down and 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23. Rubley gives on the counter to uh, McLarion. Oh, he is hard at the 15 yard line and knocked backwards. What a collision down there. That was Gerdner that hit him along with uh, number 61 for the Cardinals. That was Dave an exciting hit. That was really an exciting hit. We can see it again here, John. Defense. Boom. Down, three yards to go. Rubley gives to Jaring, and Jaring powers his way near the 10 yard line. John, don't you think in third and short or fourth and short that if you go with uh, Ben Jaring, you'll have a first down? Another first down for the Falcons uh, as they uh, progress the ball through the 11 yard line. Nine minutes, eight seconds to go in this ball game. We're all tied up at uh, 14 apiece, and uh, as long as they're keeping the ball in play the way they have been, they're running a lot of time off that clock. Slot back left is McCleary. Rubley to throw. Rubley looks at the five yard Touchdown. line. Touchdown, Davenport West. Monty McCleary made the catch in the left corner, right around the five yard line, and brought the ball in to the floor. So Davenport West goes on top here. We can see that score again in the replay, John. You know, a lot of fans from Newton might be upset with their secondary, but I'll tell you what, when a quarterback puts the ball right in the numbers, the best uh, defensive back in the world can't stop that. Ernie Burnett's get in to kick the extra point, a very important extra point, and it's good. With eight minutes, 48 seconds to go in this ball game, the score here at the Unidome is Davenport West 21 and Newton 14. You know this Newton offense can move the ball. Newton's offense is just extremely explosive. Burnett set the kick off. The ground ball this time right up the middle. Taken by Gerdner at the 12-yard line. He's up to the 20. He's uh, trying the left side. 30-yard line, 35-yard line. He breaks away. 40-yard line, switches field. And uh, as he tried to uh, switch the low there for a second, Gerdner was hit around the 40-yard line. But a nice kickoff return. John Newton has an excellent field position. Anytime you can get the football on your own 40-yard line, you're in good shape. 21 to 14, Davenport West on top, and now the pressure goes to the Davenport West defense. Try to stop the Cardinals here. First down, 10 yards to go, ball on the 41. Kevin Shipley splits way out of the right side. Corbett is the fullback. And uh, Ogden keeps the ball and uh, gets just inside the 40-yard line. I believe that looked like there was some confusion in the Newton backfield. He looked back at Gerdner as if he uh, were to say, you're not where you're supposed to be. Box running 7.57 to go in the ball game. He did pick up one yard, second down and nine yards to go on the 42. Cardinals come out quickly. Gary Swanson, the flanker on the right side. Fakes Ogden looking to throw. He's there. He's all deep alone. And he's all alone. That's Gallette. Oh, he drops the ball. Dave Gallette oh, was just all by himself. At about the 20-yard line, it hit his fingers and bounced off. Here we can see that again. John, the individual in this stadium that feels the worst about that is uh, Dave Gallette. Tonight's ball game, the 4A championship game, brought to you by RCA Studio 2 Video Games and by Lou Jack Sherbrock Chevrolet, the Quad City's largest dealer. If you can recall, and the Cardinals come out to the third down, nine yards to go. Dave Austin also dropped the, the first throw one. Once again, he gets a good rush. He throws out left flat and uh, big wrestling for the ball inside the 50-yard line. 
Fake rule a complete pass. An excellent job by the Newton receiver. Here it comes again. Kevin Shipley was the receiver for Newton on that. First down and 10 for Newton. So after that drop pass, Shipley comes back and means a fine grab. Ogden gives to Gerdner inside the 45-yard line and uh, up to about the 42. So that gives uh, Newton back a little momentum that they might have lost on that drop pass. Certainly the Newton crowd comes alive and they brought, uh, you, can, you can figure, several thousand fans uh, over here to the Unidome tonight. Second down, five yards to go. Ball on the 42, just to about the seven-minute mark in this fourth period. Ogden hollers back to his uh, fullback, Corbett. Ball given up the middle to Corbett. He uh, was tripped up right about the line of scrimmage. He's able to fall forward to about the 40-yard line. Another real big play coming up, John. It'll be about third and three. Third and four. bet somewhere here Gerdner's going to figure in their plans. Gerdner has 93 yards of rushing right now in 18 attempts, gentlemen. Third down and three on the 41-yard line. He's got to be their money ball player. Get oh. to Gerdner and he stopped hold. Big play. West High was blitzing. They had people charging through the gaps. Number 93, Mel Saline, was the one to make the initial contact. Gerdner now has 91 yards of rushing. That, uh, that put the hurts to his offensive performance. There is some hitting there. 21-14, West leads. We have just under six minutes left to go in the game, and here's a very big play. Fourth and four in the 42 for the Cardinals. Ogden gives on the draw to Corbin. He stopped holding. Falcons will take the jump. Davenport West defense comes through when it has to. That could be the ball game, John. Roger Harrington, the Falcons need is a good sustained drive, eat up a lot of that clock, and uh, try to get seven more points on the scoreboard. Number one, they have a lead. Number two, they have the ball with excellent field position. Number three, they've been able to move the ball nearly at will tonight. They've got to be feeling pretty good right now. They can just execute and hang on to the ball, eliminate their mistakes, they're going to be home free. Very good field position on their own 41-yard line. First and 10, give to Lambert. He's up over the 40, spins forward, and twists away over the 45-yard line. Very close to the 47. Boy, it's Jim Lambert. That's Brian Holden there now, replacing Lambert. So Holt comes in. Uh, he hasn't seen much action tonight except off the kickoff return teams. And he comes forward for a nice run. Second down, four yards to go. Falcons in the eye once again. To give the Jaring fights forward to the 50-yard line, and it takes a few men to bring Ben Jaring down. 66, Dave Norvell was in to make the tackle, along with number 46, Gary Swanson. West High's defensive staff is saying, keep that ball on the ground and keep that clock moving. Clock stops momentarily as the officials signal this is a first down. And uh, that'll start the clock once again. Under five minutes now, 4.44 to be exact. First and 10 for the Falcons on the 49-yard line. And the Falcons lead in this game by 7, 21-14. They've had the only score in the second half of play. McCleary in the slot to the right. Rudely get the halt, halt to the 45-yard line, uh, twist away from Gertner and gets up to about the 43-yard uh, line. It's very important, John, that uh, the West High ball carriers and any uh, receivers stay in bounds. You don't want to do any foolish things and uh, go out of bounds and kill the clock. West High has got to keep that clock moving. Second down and three yards to go, a fine seven-yard pickup by Brian Holt. No need clock. to hurry. Just keep that clock going. Clock continues running 3.53. Pitch out this time. This goes to Holt once again. He can't get away. Gary Swanson came up and tripped him up. And he's hit down in the backfield. John, I don't want to sound critical now, but the only problem with the 
with a pitch out in a situation like this. It can get you a big play, but it can also put you in a negative situation. Loss of five yards for the Falcons on that play. That sends the ball back to the 46-yard line and brings up a third and eight. So uh, big possession down here. Rudley's going to throw. Takes the pitch. He uh, throws over the hole. He rushed it just a little bit. Ball is thrown just to the left of Holdy. He uh, reached his left hand out, but just couldn't get a handle on it. Fourth and eight, and uh, Mitch Dolan comes in to punt for the West High Falcons. Gerdner and Shipley back to receive the punt. Doesn't get much of a rush. Nice high kick. Beautiful kick by Dolan. Taken to the five-yard line by Gerdner. He takes the reverse. And he's smashed down at the one-yard line. John, that was West High's second punt of the night, and it was just a dandy. 49-yard kick. West High defensively. I know, I know they're a little bit uneasy, but they've got they've, they're in an excellent situation right now. They couldn't be in a better spot. Here comes the replay. My 22s and 44s mixed up that time. That was Kevin Shipley that fielded that punt. They make the handoff to his man coming around and uh, nice coverage down there by the Falcons. And the Cardinals have their backs to the wall as it gives to Gerdner. He gives them some running room, gets out to the four yard line. You know, John, it's difficult to move the football 98 yards in two and a half minutes. You've got to come up with a big play. Newton has some explosive athletes. We'll keep our eye on that clock for you. It's running at 2 minutes, 17 seconds. West on top of this ball game, 21-14. And uh, Newton knows this is now or never for them. Ogden goes back into his end zone to throw. He's pressured. He throws up. Maybe intercepted. He is intercepted at the 30-yard line. That's Pat or Kelly. Rick Keller intercepted at the 30 and brought it back to the 18. Rick Keller, a 5'9 senior. 159,000. Rick Keller is the happiest man in the ballpark right now. Ball game's over, John. The ball game is over. Here it is on the replay. What a great interception for West High School. Give credit to that uh, defensive line of West, too. Put a lot of uh, pressure on Ogden that time in the end zone. There's an old saying, John. The best pass defense is a super pass rush. And we have a uh, member of the Cardinals team hurt down there, apparently at ankle injury. We had a 15-yard clipping penalty on West High School there, John. That should in no way uh, give them any problems towards their state championship. Jeff Dennison is the uh, Denny Griggs, number 74, a tackle. The man who was hurt and carried off. I hope he's all right. We're under two minutes, 1.50 to go in this ball game. A minute 50 seconds, and West will have a championship. To get the hold, he's up over the 30-yard line and uh, does a somersault over the 30. If you want to play real safe now, John, just give the ball to Jerry. And the West people apparently feeling a little confident at this point. The uh, West High coaches who are right next to us uh, doing the spotting uh, have left the booth. They apparently have, think they have this one wrapped up. We have a timeout on the field with a score. Davenport West 21 and Newton 14. We have another time. 10,000 fans here really enjoy high school football. They turned out, drove all the way up here to Cedar Falls and uh, enjoying a fine game. Third down, three yards to go for Davenport West. Clock begins running. A minute and a half to go. Rubley uh, gives the ball again to Ben Jering up to the 25-yard line. Clock runs down and uh, Newton, let's see, Newton does call, no, Newton doesn't call a timeout. The clock continues to run. Newton has one timeout left, and they'd like to use that on offense. So Todd Rubley is going to keep his offensive uh, players in the huddle for as long as he can. I would say a good play, John, would be to uh, sprint Rubley out to the wide side of the field, hoping he could get the first down. If he couldn't get the first down, he would at least be... Uh, 
executing a play that would take a long time to develop in terms of seconds. And Falcons stayed in that huddle and got what they wanted, a delay of game call. Takes the ball back to the 30-yard line, but they were able to get the clock down to 47 seconds. They still have that fourth down. We do have a timeout on the field with the score. Davenport West 21 and Newton 14. Seconds to go in this ball game, and it's a real big 47 seconds left for, for the West High Falcons. Fourth down and eight, and uh, Rubley's going to pass. He looks to the right side, and he was, uh, he was hit, and the ball wobbled out. I'm not quite sure I understand that, John. I... 14 West leads and Newton will get another chance with 43 seconds to go. Uh, you should note here that Newton has one timeout left, so uh, do some passing and uh, that one timeout. You can move the ball and get a few plays off that amount of time. If you're the West High defense, you've got to be alert to the razzle dazzle, the double reverse, the pass to the quarterback who throws downfield. Newton has to let it all hang out now. It's all up to the West defense and the Cardinal offense. Ogden throws, lets it all hang out. He's overthrown his man. And it came closest to Rick Keller down around the 30-yard line. He was looking for Kevin Shipley down around the 30. This is the time to run your screen now, John. you still got about 38 seconds. West High is going to be dropped off. They're going to have their defensive backs 15, 20 yards deep. Their linebackers are going to be deep. They're going to put some rush on. If you can get a screen completed, you're going to have a good play. Second down and 10, that ate off a few seconds, 38 seconds to go as the clock is stopped. Falcons going to a 5-1-4 four in defense. Big rush, and there's the screen play Jim was talking about. Corbett takes it on the 30, 35 yard line. He's up over 40, he's still on his feet. And he's very close to midfield, and he did get out of bounds. 28 seconds, Ron Corbett did an excellent job and got out of bounds, which he was supposed to do. John, and that a, stops the clock. A Newton football player is down. I don't know if that's their quarterback. I think it might be. He must have got hit after he released the ball. He is down and in pain, and uh, he may have a problem with his arm. I'm not sure. I was watching Corbett. I didn't see on uh, after he released the ball whether he was hit very hard or not. And it is Steve Ogden who has to be helped off the field, and uh, what a time to lose your quarterback when you've advanced to near midfield, 28 seconds to go in the state championship game. For Newton's sake, uh, John, let's hope that their number two quarterback has some poise and has uh, had his share of time in practice, so he will uh, go in and at least represent uh, Newton High School with some class and some poise. Their reserve quarterback is number 14, Steve Ferguson, coming into the ball game. He's 6'1", 168. He's only a junior. I imagine uh, with a couple of the lopsided scores that Newton has had this year that Ferguson has seen some action. 28 seconds left on the clock. Newton on the 47-yard line. They need a score to uh, either tie up or go ahead. Here Ferguson throws in the middle. Gertner, and he's hit hard, incomplete. That was a good call, John. They threw a delay. They threw to their best back. They thought, let's get him the football, give him some running room. Who knows? He might break it. That was a good call. Give credit to Dave Dunn, who came over and hit Gertner as soon as uh, he got his hands on the ball, and he jarred it loose. 23 seconds to go. Second and 10 for the Cardinals. 21-14. They trail. They have one timeout in the game. So they have been able to move about uh, 25 yards without the uh, assistance of a timeout. Ferguson straight back to pass. Looks left side, and he has his man up inside the 40-yard line. That's the left. The left finally wrapped down around the 30-yard line, and we like these Cardinals. John Newton is still in the ball game. They've got uh, 31 yards to go for a score. Their second-team quarterback comes in. He shows a lot of poise. He drills uh, two completions right in a row. There it is on the instant replay. Heck of a catch. Excellent run with the ball. Newton is a mighty fine football team. I really respect them. They've got quickness. They're tough. They haven't given up. Somebody said they certainly didn't back into the uh, state championship game. You have to get an at-large berth, and you have to be what was ranked the number two team of the state, the number one team of the state. So I think all along, West knew that uh, they were in for a battle tonight. They certainly were. It's interesting that Newton is an independent, and like you say, they had to get into the playoffs the hard way. 
Only 15 seconds left on the clock, and uh, Newton is not out of timeouts. John, I hope all the uh, the athletes out there that are second team athletes in football or basketball or wrestling or whatever will take note of this. You really never know when that first stringers go goes down, and it's your obligation to always be ready to go in and do your very best. Steve Ferguson threw a very nice pass in that situation. 21-14, West on top, uh, 15 seconds to go. And the ref sends the Cardinals back into the huddle, so take a couple more seconds if you want. Gillette goes wide to the left side. This is Shipley coming over to the right. Gerdner and Corbett still the quarterbacks. Ferguson straight back to pass. He's rushed. He throws the corner. He's looking for Gillette. Knocked down, and it's called interference on Davenport West. John, it's, in, it's interesting to note that uh, last year, in the last few seconds of the ball game, it was a tight game. Here comes the interference up on the replay. That's Steve Wallace down with the legend. I could see how the official would call that. It wasn't uh, glaring interference, though. Uh, the interesting thing, John, last year, uh, with a, a few seconds left in the ball game, Dowling was threatening Davenport Central. Davenport Central managed to stave off that Dowling rally and had the state championship. We've got eight seconds left. Uh, let's see if West High can do the same thing. Ball will be spotted on the 15-yard line. Ferguson back to pass again. Seven, six, throws into the end zone. Intercepted, Davenport West. 25-yard line, that looks like Rick Keller again it is. The ball game is over, John. West High pulls Keller it off. Great defensive out. play. Davenport West is the 1977 4A champions as Rick Keller gets a second interception of the game. The final score, West 21, Newton.